Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmaidenVermont.com. Today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge semi-flush called the Ensemble, and this is the 124372. Great, great fixture. Uses Hubbardton Forge's hand-blown glass. We'll get into this in just a second. Overall height of the fixture from the bottom, bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself is coming in at 20.2. Diameter is 36.8, so it's a pretty good size. Try to remember that. Um, this can be used in a lot of different places. People are going to be using this in foyers if you have the ceiling height to, to accommodate it. Another great place for this is over a dining room table for people who don't have really tall ceilings. I think this is a great idea. Um, the thing about when you have uh, eight foot ceilings or seven and a half foot ceilings and you have something that's more flush, it makes the room feel the ceiling higher. It makes it gives you this impression that it's not such a low ceiling. So you don't have something hanging over the dining room table so low it becomes kind of a wall. This is a great fixture. There's a couple other ones like this too where they're they're very flush but they're big and we'll get into some of those later on in different videos. So on top of that let's hop into let's hop back to our glass on this. So glass is 5.22 diameter, 7.27 high. It's got a hole, 1.75 uh, inch diameter hole which is going to accommodate Mr. Socket here and you have this beautiful swirl in here I don't know if you guys can see that. Hubberton Forge does great glass and I love this piece. It's used on a couple other pieces too. Remember it's clear so you're going to be able to use the uh, see the bulb and we're going to talk about bulbs too. So why don't we talk about what's going to go into this. You've got 12 of these and these are medium based sockets. Okay, The um, Limit for the an incandescent bulb is going to be 60 watts, and that's going to be because of the heat generated by an incandescent bulb. If you guys want to go with LEDs, there's really no limit, but most of you are going to probably, don't forget, you've got 12 of these. So you're probably going to be putting in a 60 watt equivalent, or maybe a little less, and putting it on a dimmer. These guys, see all these great ones? These are the newer LEDs that are, that are out in the world. They're called phosphorus. You see the little orange lines in here? Those are lines of phosphorus that glow when the electricity goes through it. Dimmable. Make sure you tell your, your uh, installer that you're going to be putting this on a, um, you're going to be using LEDs. So he's got to, he or she is going to have to put in the correct uh, dimmer for an LED. Remember that. Okay. Back to our clear glass story. You want to get an aesthetically pleasing, probably a clear bulb. So it looks great inside. You don't want to do, you know, one of these because it's not going to be pretty, right? So these are easy to get. I got these at Lowe's, I think. Actually, I think I got these at my local hardware store. If you don't do that, you can just get them on Amazon. They're not a big deal. And again, you can choose, um, well, you can choose your wattage. You can also choose your color temperature on these. I would probably go for a warmer temperature, like a 3000 Kelvin. That's the warmth of the light that's on my hands right now. If you guys like that whiter light, that's 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin. When you're buying your bulbs, there's a chart on the box. See that little chart? And there's a little line kind of telling you where on the spectrum that is. So remember, the lower the number, the warmer the bulb, the higher the number, the whiter the light, cooler the bulb, okay? It's a big deal when you're, when you're going to be able to see this stuff. So moving on, why don't we also get into what's on top. So five-inch round canopy, it's going to go over your or instruction box. To show you more information about that, let's look at the installation's instructions. If you're on the page for this on our website, look over on the side of the screen, kind of midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installation's instructions PDF. So click on that for me. Those are the uh, instructions of how everything goes together, how this goes onto your junction box without any, any issue at all. It's very simple. This only weighs 21 pounds, so it's just going to hang from a normal 4-inch uh, junction box. So that's all good there. Okay, so after that, why don't we get into a little, little detail. So this is not slope ceiling adaptable. If you guys are working with a slope ceiling, there's a possibility I can do this as a custom to make it slope ceiling adaptable, but it's going to add some height to it. So it's not going to be that 20.2 inches high. It'll probably be a little lower than that. What they do is they add a knuckle at the top, and this is a canopy with a knuckle. And you can see how I bent that to make it uh, slope ceiling adaptable. It would be like kind of like that, right? So you can see how that little piece is now straight down. In order to get that knuckle, you have to add a, a piece to it. So it will be done as a custom. And how you go about that is you guys email me and say, I'm looking at the 124372. I need this to be, we can even do longer longer uh, customs, uh, longer than the 20 if you wanted to do that. But uh, you would say, I'm looking at the 124372 and I need it to be slope ceiling adaptable. What can you do? I take that email. I shoot it over to Hubbardton Forge. It rolls around through a couple different departments. 
comes back to me and then I and I send it over to you so you can check it all out. Okay. Let's get into finishes now. If you're if you're on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a tab. It's going to say uh, finishes help guide. Click on that for me. That there's going to be a video on there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a chart a little farther down on the page. You'll see it next to me here. It's going to kind of go over the differences between heavy forging and non-heavy forging and it'll be talked about in that video. So it's really important that you kind of watch the video, use the chart. You can click on that chart on different things. So you can click on dark smoke and a big page will pop up and show you lots of different things in dark smoke. Click on burnished steel or, or uh, natural iron, it'll do the same thing. But it's really important that you understand how Hubbardson Forge's finishes are kind of divided into translucent and opaque and how they can look on different on different fixtures. Uh, our showroom in Vermont has over, th well, we're up to 400 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a what's on display page. It's way up there in those red tabs again. So click on that and you can see what we have to show you. That changes all the time because we're always adding things as they come out. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have an amazing clearance center here too. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinue things in showroom samples. If you were coming to visit us, bring a good sized vehicle, something like a big SUV or maybe a small truck or something like that, because you might find something in the clearance center that you want to take home, and it's a lot of fun to go through. 75% off MSRP is an amazing bargain, so you should really take advantage of it if you can. Like I said, we're open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. You can call us at 802-446-2400 during business hours. You can email us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all the time. We love to answer emails. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont, and we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else even comes close to that. Some larger items are non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that. It'll be in the description thing that part of the description underneath uh, on the very bottom. So keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> we also offer a rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. They don't stock anything. That's how you're going to get all your finishes, your adjustable ranges to play with, all those things. We can cut that time in half and it's super inexpensive. If you want to know more, drop a quick email and I can I'll walk you through the whole thing, okay? So if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Love to see you in our showroom sometime and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.